Vamos a ver dónde cojones está. ¿Y el sótano? Tiene que haber algo aquí que no... Que me falla. También podríamos subir hasta ahí. No hay sótano, con lo cual... Si no hay sótano... Coño. Um... Oh. Vale, cualquiera diría que es una preciosa, pero es una muy, muy... cuando te aparece el fantasma ¡Hala! ¡Vamos! So, to find the sword? Sí, vamos. I found it. Let's go. After you then. You and my dad, you were mates once, right? Hope we still are. But Well, I heard you fell out over something, or someone. Talking about that story with Yennefer? Long time ago, that. In fact, that was before Croc met the woman who'd be your mother. But you and Yennefer had already met? <sighs> uh, things were never cut and dried with Yen. What is it about her? What is it that draws you? Dunno. Maybe, uh, it's cause I've never chosen comfort and ease, the calm and the quiet. Ya veo. Vamos. Where is Jennifer? Hmm. Don't know. Why do you ask? I just wonder why she let you come here alone. What do you mean, let me? Thing. Just got the impression she doesn't like to let you out of her sight. <laughs> Look, there they are. Hardly bright out here. Stings the eyes. The fresh air will do you good. The gods won't be pleased. <clears throat> Jarl, our guests, remember. Couldn't help overhearing your conversation. No worries. It's no secret. All in the Isles know Jarl Udelrek hears the voices of the gods. These voices you hear? The gods. Their voices. It's not the gods. <laughs> Watch your words, foreigner. You're in Skelliger, our land. And we revere the gods here. If you weren't on Kreit's guest. Jarl, the Witcher surely meant no offense. Let us hear what he has to say. More likely, this is somehow related to your dead brother. I told Geralt of Aki. We concluded that... That the gods are angry at you, yet he's the reason. That's why you have to apologize to Aki himself. I... I didn't want to. 
Aki fell in the water. I... The guards will be angry. Nothing after me, though. Let me help you, and I promise to do everything I can to keep from angering the gods. Heed the Witcher Jarl. Make amends to Aki, and you'll surely please the gods. What would you have me do? Remember where Aki fell in the water? Near the Isle's eastern end, by the mouth of the bay, current had swept us towards Ulula's needle. It's a dangerous spot. Treacherous eddies swallow a handful of sailors each year. We need to sail there. Aki's ghost won't rest until Brockvar's returned to his remains. No. No, no, no. The gods. They'll be angry. I feel it. Fear not, Jarl. The gods love you. And they loved Aki. Surely they want this. Well, maybe I can sail there. The sword should be returned. That's what matters. Makes no difference by whose hand. What do I look for? Did Aki have anything that'll help me recognize him? Something he was wearing that could survive all this time underwater? Aye. Our clan ring. That ought to be enough. I'm off. Vale. Vámonos. Al lado de Aki. Your boats bring a leak as well. Si se supone que se cayó en el extremo del mar. O sea, se cayó en el mar. Sí o sí. Vale. Vámonos, pues. Ahí va. Que no me ataque ningún bicho, eh. La... Está la mar un poco baja. Es lo que veo. Hay sumergidos. También me doy cuenta. Must be the place. Can't help wondering what that accomplished, if anything. Time to see Little Rick. Don't hurt him. Cagándose de aquí. Vamos, oh, chicos, vamos. Toma, se ha atropellado, se ha atropellado, se ha atropellado. Oh, ¿qué? qué? Ay, se carga hasta los barcos. Se cargan los barcos, hijo de puta. Una hija de puta. Vamos a dejar el barco por aquí. Y nos vamos. Epa. Se ha quedado clavado.
Eso no ha sonado muy bien, ¿eh? What is this? Ludwig. The voice has commanded him to poke out his eye. What? Why do you do it? Such was the will of the gods. A sacrifice for Aki. What did the gods want, exactly? Do you remember? What did they tell you? They were angry. A voice said, you vile wretch. You didn't help Aki, and now you failed to sail out to beg his forgiveness. Poke out your eye, suffer, and regret the evil you've wrought. <laughs> When did the gods speak to you? Right after I left? Shortly after. Sleep came over me, so I lay down. Twas then they revealed their will to me. You always asleep when they speak to you? Always. What do you see then? Do they try to summon you anywhere specific? My old home. They command me to light torches, then speak from the shadows. Uh... The gods always demand you offer them your suffering. Only that pleases them, so they ask for more and more. The gods speak from the shadows, you said. Is that why you don't allow any lights in here? In my dreams, at times I see their form, when the torches burn bright. To see the gods is a great honor. Maybe with more light in your house, you'd see them when you're awake as well. Lesser men are unworthy. They cannot gaze upon their faces. I returned the sword, but nothing's changed. It's not his brother's ghost that haunts him, tortures him. What's wrong with him? Can we talk somewhere in private? The guest room. Come. Algo más. Ya veo. Well, know what it is? It's a Heim, a post-conjunction creature, very rare and very dangerous. It latches on to men who commit vile deeds. It feeds on their pain for years, fueling their guilty conscience. In the end, Heims force their victims to mutilate themselves. Sounds unpleasant. Any way to defeat it? Hmm. Two methods that work, in <laughs> theory. Bye. El método de los flujos y puedes intentar engañarlo. They say a Heim can be tricked. You have to pretend to do something horrible. Then it'll move on to you as its new victim. When it realizes it's been tricked, it'll be forced to leave. Great. Let's try it. Don't know anyone who's pulled it off. Well, maybe no one's thought of a trick that was good enough. What's this other way? Witcher's bestiaries say you have to spend a night in the Heim's lair, with the affected individual. The haunted house, you mean? It's hardly cozy, but I wager you've slept in worse conditions. It's not about sleeping. You've got to draw the Heim out. It has to emerge from the shadows, show itself. Can't hurt it otherwise. And it's sure to give as good as it gets. You've seen Udelric. It won't be an easy fight. I know you're doubtful, but we should at least try to find a way to trick the Heim. Might not be as simple as it seems. Besides, neither method's perfect. What do you mean? Udelric might not survive an entire night in the Heim's lair. You think the Heim... Would it try to kill Udelric? No, that would mean losing its host. But Udelric could just... Expire. He's weak, and the house will summon painful memories. Whereas to the Heim, that'll be an opportunity. The more pain the Heim causes Udelric, the stronger it'll grow. And the more dangerous it will be to you. Hmm. And what about the other method? The Heim's a demon, and demons are notoriously hard to fool. 